video of my Terry Keating drum lessons channel. Um, now what I'm going to do here is, is things that I have found that a lot of people, there are a lot of old basic things that a lot of people gloss over. Nowadays it seems like what a lot of people do is they learn patterns. They, they literally learn patterns on the drums like uh, like And they sort of like, they sort of nowadays it seems popular to sort of string together a bunch of fills while you're playing time, which is great. But I sometimes think that a lot of people in the last few years have become so used to totally quantize and totally perfect time uh, that they kind of lose, there is a feel dimension. And a lot of people who, have, who, who really oftentimes see that as a cop-up, but it's really not. Um, there's a way a machine would play time. But there's also the way, you know, humans do. Like I've talked a lot in my videos about like the 98% perfection. You know, a lot of the buildings and stuff you see these days, they, they and maybe it's just, a, maybe kids these, kids these days don't really see it because there were a lot, you know, somebody who's freaking 24 now was born in 1990. Do you know what I'm saying? So, but you'll notice like even construction, like, um, like, computer design and computer aided building and stuff everything looks there's a certain kind of staleness like a what's the word i'm looking for sort of a, um it just sort of loses its character okay anyway but pre going what i'm going to show you today is my take on is going from straight time into like a triplet time and back into straight time, okay? Sometimes what happens is you don't really realize it, but oftentimes when you feel your time gets messed up, it's making the transitions from like one, two, three, four, one and a two and a three and a four and a one, two, three, four, one, and uh, you know, I mean like making these, when you're shifting from the mental state of four, four, of like one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, or one, two, one, two, two, one, and uh, two, uh, uh, it's good to iron those out. But I find that if you if you put a click track on, and you just and, and again the key is looping everything, okay? Like, but it's not. It's good to. It's good, in my opinion, to, to, to concentrate on the relationships. Instead of thinking about it like even time to, to like twos to threes or fours to threes, keep it in its own little, keep everything in its own compartment for a while, okay? So just play quarter notes. One, two, three, four. One and a two and a three and a four and a one, two, three, four. One and a two and a three and a four and a. Keep that its own exercise. Later on, you can start mixing it up. But for now, my recommendation is what's a lot more helpful is so that would be one of them. Okay? One, two, three, four. One and a two and a three and a four and a... Okay? Another permutation would be one and two and three and four and one and a two and a three and a four and a one and two and three and four and one and a two and a three and a four and a... Okay? And then essentially working your way and then so that would be quarter notes then eighth notes and then sixteenths sixteenth notes between triplets like one e and a two e and a three e and a four e and a one and a two and a three and a four and a one e and a two e and a three e and a four e and a what da 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 it's important kind of to, a lot more than you you know, I don't need these right now more than you think to practice those okay because what a lot of people do myself included everybody does it's like, oh yeah, I know it. Like you'll sit down and be like, yeah, I know it. Uh, one and two and three and four and one and a two and a three and a four and a one and. But you don't just because you know it, doesn't mean you know to do it well. See, the whole key is is doing something consistently well. Okay, that's why I always say this to my students. That's why basketball players, even professional players, college players, they still practice free throws. They didn't figure it out in fifth grade and say, oh, that's it. I know how to do one every time, right? Does a bowler, and even to this day, I don't know why a bowler hasn't figured out how to throw a strike every time. All the nothing changes. It's not like the floor is like an aircraft carrier. Everything is constant. It's in a vacuum the whole time. You know what I'm saying? But it's just, but life just doesn't work that way. So that's why you have to practice even things that you think are simple that you know over and over again, because you build them up and store them in a part of your brain that is automatic. I always tell kids and students that like when you do like singles, you do them, sl anything, you do it slow 
and make sure it sounds right and is right before you get any speed. Okay, and the argument's, oh, you can't do it fast if you can't do it slow, right. But once your brain knows how to do it automatically, then you'll get speed, right? So the, the way you kind of teach yourself to do it automatically, in your conscious mind, you do it slow and very conscientiously, while another part of your brain, kind of unbeknownst to you, is sort of learning, is sort of picking it up. That's how we learn everything. You just keep doing it and you get a little better at it because that other part of your brain is, is, is picking up how to do it on its own, almost robotically, okay? That's kind of the whole point of everything. Anyway, so I, I would recommend very much working just, and, and it's great anyway, just for singles, and it's just great practice time anyway. You can put a song in your head to it, you know what I mean? In fact, I was going to, oh, that's another story. But, so what we'll do now would be like, would be quarter notes to triplets, okay? Practice it to a metronome, but you can also do one hand. Now, you got to watch out there, especially with your left hand or your weak hand. Watch the tempo. It really never does you good if you're trying to struggle, you know, to keep up with, the, you know, what it, it, it's, I'm going to alter the tempo of my left hand. And you, so it's at a... Whatever, whatever, when you're doing it, if it sounds good and you're comfortable, that's the tempo you practice it again and again at. Eventually that tempo will go up. All right. So, but now we go from quarter notes to eighth notes. notice in there there's some subtle you know I'm messing it up a little but the key is to just do it over and over again it's not necessarily something that occurs oftentimes I think with more musical people people who think of stuff more like melodies and stuff it's harder to sort of reconcile those two because you hear you hear the song you hear music you don't think of it mathematically like one and two and da 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 one which is important to learn that sort of like the basic mechanics of it da 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 you know but if you think of it musically sometimes you'll have a harder it 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 locks it in a little but the the key is well the key is just to practice it right so so again so we'll have That is the quarter note to the eighth note triplet, and then the eighth note. Okay, that's the eighth note to the eighth note triplet. And then keeping everything in eighth note triplet fill for now. Like I would recommend just keeping, you know, you can do sixteenth note triplets a little later. They're actually a little easier to do because the nature of a of a sixteenth note triplet is to subdivide it more where you get the one and two and the and in 16th note tripletville becomes one of the notes you're actually playing. One and a two and a, th one and a, and a, and a two and a, and a, and a three and a, and a, the and you're actually playing, right? In 8th note tripletville, you're not. You're dancing around it, right? One and da 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 okay? So the, 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 the kind of do your eight, your quarter notes and your eighth notes and your 16th notes. Remember, quarter notes, one, two, three, four. Eighth notes, one, and 16th notes, three and four, all against individually the backdrop of the eighth note triplet. One, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. Practice that in and of itself over and over. Then again, go back and do the one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four. Do that for a few minutes, okay? And it's important to really do it. You know, nowadays in this day and age, there's these things called smartphones, which recently I just got one of. There's a cool metronome app, which I thought I invented. I think I invent everything because I'm an egomaniac of freakish proportions. It's called Metro Timer. Metro Timer. And, and you know, there's numerous facsimiles thereof. Uh, all right, now check this out. Here's your metronome. But, you know, I'm going to do it for five minutes. 
See, that's great because you can just sit there and just for and just almost robotically just keep doing it. You don't have to actually sit there and watch the clock or wonder how many times you've done it. Just put this on when this is all sent on. I go beep, and your headphones are right up. Okay. So, hang on. Silence. All right. So, but anyway, that's very helpful. All right. So now that we have that done, okay. Practice those three, okay? Quarter notes with the eight note triplet. Eighth notes with the eight note triplet. Sixteen notes with the eight note triplet. I would say obviously down the road you can then mash them up. So do da 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 I mean mix it up, but for now I highly recommend isolating those two. The three. Well those two, you know, the the triplet vill versus straight time bill, right? So quarter notes with triplets. Then eighth notes with triplets, sixteenth, I mean, uh, eighth note triplets, and then sixteenth uh, notes with eighth note triplets, okay? But here's a couple interesting things to keep in mind for subdividing or getting the feel musically. See, I was thinking sub musically, not necessarily like just like a clock. Like, um, okay, so like two over three, okay? If you're doing one and two and one and a two and a one, okay? So if you're going, uh, Right there, I'm playing, my left hand's doing a triplet, and my right hand is doing eighth notes. Okay? And a good thing to sit there and think about, you know when you hear that Christmas song? And there's a lot of songs that do that, especially older songs. Well, I think like much older songs. But that's just to play off the two and three. Da 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 da. So the da 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 da. Those are triplets. The middle note da 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 da. I'm sorry. Well, the middle note of the two. The third note in the ba 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 ba. That is the eighth note. Okay. Ba 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 ba. Ba boom ba boom ba boom ba boom ba boom ba boom, and then the other notes are the triplet. Okay, so um, and a three and a four and a. Ba 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 ba. Then switch your hands. You get a lot of mileage. Out. I mean, it's it's a good way to musically. I can't necessarily say it'll help you with the transitions back and forth for the exercise proper, but it's good to have in music. Okay, when you're actually playing and applying it to music in a musical sense, it's great to think of it kind of in that sort of way, sort of a benchmark. Okay, and then what we can do is sixteenths versus triplets, okay? Now, 16ths are a little different. You have like... Now, think about that musically for a minute. In fact, we should write a song right now. Somebody loop me saying that. But seriously, that pattern da 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 is sixteen notes played over an eighth note triplet. Okay, so e n a two e n a. Da 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 da. 